Hello and welcome to my training. My name is Chuck Holmes. I'm a network marketing professional. What we're going to do in today's video is talking about surviving your first year in network marketing. This is a really funny industry. It's a weird industry. It's misunderstood. People have preconceived notions. A lot of people coming into our business, they've never owned a business before, so they don't really know what to expect. So my goal today is to help you mentally prepare to survive your first year in business. Now, let me tell you, this is what I've learned from personal experience. When you start something new, you're typically not very good at it. The first time you tried to kiss someone, you probably didn't know what the heck you were doing. The first time you started, whatever your current job is, you probably had to go through a learning curve to get good at what you're doing. Learning a new skill takes time. You gotta have a little bit of patience. And if you've never done something before, the odds of you being great at it right out the gate are pretty slim. You gotta pay your dues, you gotta learn some new skills. Here's the next thing you should know. When you start a new business of any kind, whether it's a grocery store, or a gas station, whether it's a barbershop or network marketing, your goal your first year is simply to survive and learn. When you're starting a new business, typically you work for less than minimum wage your first year or two in your business. Now I know, that's hard for some people to understand. If you're accustomed to trading hours for dollars in a job where you work 40 hours, you get paid for 40 hours, that's not how entrepreneurship works. Entrepreneurship works whereas you're building a asset, that asset is creating you an income, but it takes time to build that asset. And you gotta have a little bit of patience. That's why new entrepreneurs are normally told, hey, if you're gonna start a business and go full time, you really wanna make sure you're properly funded, you wanna have enough money in the bank so you can survive your first year in business while you're getting it off the ground. Most people understand that, but when they come into our industry, they expect instant gratification, and it seldom works that way. So here's what you should do. Here's basically five things you can do to survive mentally. Number one, focus on learning and mastering the basic skills. It's probably gonna take you about six or 12 months, give or take, to learn the basic skills in this industry. That's prospecting, launching new distributors, getting started right, promoting events, making sales, basic things like that. It's gonna take you probably six to 12 months, considering you're doing this part-time, maybe 10, 20 hours a week. It's just gonna take a little bit. You gotta have a little patience. The next thing, think of your first year in business as MLM University. You're going to school, you're going to MLM school, you're learning how to be a network marketer. You could make money during that year, you could make a lot of money, but you might not make any money. And you need to be patient, uh, and you need to understand that until you master those skills, you're not gonna make a lot of money. You're not gonna make a lot of money in any business until you master the basic skills that are relevant to that business. Number three, you gotta have realistic expectations. You have to walk away from the employee mindset and make that transition to the entrepreneurial mindset. You're building an asset, it takes time to build a business, you are gonna put in a lot of work and you probably won't get paid for all of that work in the first year of your business. So that's a realistic expectation. Number four, you gotta stick with one company and not jump around. If you wanna survive, it's vital that you stick with one company for that year. You don't wanna be in four or five companies that first year, you wanna find one company that you love with products or services you're passionate about, and you wanna buckle down. This is one of my biggest mistakes in the industry, not doing that. And number five, you wanna work closely with your mentor. You want to learn from him or her as much as you can, as quickly as you can. One of the best ways to do this is to be plugged into your team system. This means you go to the events, you listen to the weekly calls or the webinars, you're plugged into their Facebook group if they have one, you're surrounding yourself with other people in the business and you're working on your skill set and your mindset. That takes time, it takes social proof, it takes belief, it takes patience, it takes all of those things. So these are my best tips on surviving your first year in network marketing. And let me tell you this, if you do survive your first year, which is always the hardest in any business, it does get easier. The business does get much easier for you to do because you built up your belief, you built up your skills, you started to build up your network, you started to pay your dues, and good things are gonna happen. My father told me a long time ago, the longer you stay in business, the easier it is. After being an entrepreneur for 18 years now, I wholeheartedly believe that. Most people give up way too soon, way too soon. Most people give up at the first sign of defeat when 
that is when they should really be doubling down or tripling down and pressing forward. So I hope you got some value from today's training. As a quick disclaimer, this is just my opinion. Individual results will vary. If you'd like to learn more about what I'm doing, you can check out the links below this video or below this podcast. Also, this book cover you see on the screen, if you're watching this as a video, that is a book by my former mentor, Mark Yarnell. He's now deceased. It's called Your First Year in Network Marketing. That's a great book. He shares a lot of different tips on how to survive your first year in network marketing and what you should do to be successful. So you should definitely check that out. I appreciate you listening. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you at the top.